Hello everybody, Alicia the Hun here. Sorry I haven't made content in a while because, you know, I've been sick. A matter of fact, I got lizard face right now, which is dried up face. You know how they're always like, oh, lizard people, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm a real life lizard person right now, and there is, there's no need to pause any grainy TV to see that. I am literally covered in dried skin on my face. But yeah, I've been sick for a while. That's why my content wasn't coming out. Uh, mostly because I had the flu and then I got a cold and it, it's just ridiculous. This winter has been horrible. So let's get right into this. We are going to play West of Loathing. We are not playing Sometimes Monsters right now because I don't know how much reading I can take really. So this is supposed to be a good game. Let's get into it. Okay, what what was this? Say? Wanted for pro pro nas progonin. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're a stick figure. Oh, what's this? What? What? What's that? Oh, what is? Oh yeah. This is <laughs> a Libby. Well, I can be Libby. I can be this. Cody, Eagle, Leonard Hollister, <laughs> Leonard Hollister. Okay, I'm gonna be the chick because I'm a chick. All right. Let's get into this. Mo modded. Mo mod. Mod. <laughs> I can be a cow puncher. I had the strangest dream. I was sh choosing a, a character class. Okay, well, I can be a cow puncher. I can be a bean slinger. Or a snake oiler. Ah, I think I could be a cow puncher. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Cowpunchers solve their problems with their fist, whether it's shaking them at a dis disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon, Sa saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cowpunchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason the cows aren't gonna punch themselves after all. I wanna be a cow puncher! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is my room. I'm a little stick figure. You read the spine of one of your books, The Treasure of the Old Prison. I read that one ten times. I read that one ten times. I read that one ten times. Okay. The Treasure of Rattlesnake Forest. I read that one ten times. The Curse of Ancient Bridge. Mon gave me this one a few years ago. Ah, oh, okay. I, th I, I think that's it. Okay, I'm, do I I'm done with that one. Uh, goodbye, desk. Here come. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Caw. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw. I f feed Russell a cricket. Yeah. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nestles your hand. Maybe it's time. Goodbye, Russell. What's this? Wazdi. Goodbye, <laughs> phonograph. Turn it off. You pull the, the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Oh, oh, it's my handle now. Goodbye, comb. The comb of your hair one last time. Oh, look at that. Awesome. 
Leave Russell alone. Your living room. Oh, why am I leaving such a nice house? That a mess. Stack firewood. Oh, look at that. I got more XP. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and hope. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Sure am. You'll miss meals with the family. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pie safe. <laughs> What's this? You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Grandlin and uh, I can't even read that. What a weird kid. Okay, it's your kid brother's toy box. I'm gonna look inside. Ha! He loves stuff like this. You got an item. Puzzle cube. Sweet. Does he have anything on here? It's covered with all his weird diagrams and charts. What a good kid brother. Oh my goodness, is this my mom? Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep. It's the book you wanted from Crimbo. I know it's early, but the one about picking locks. Oh, boy. The one about desert survival. Oh, boy. The one about bartering. Oh, boy. Picking locks. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter. Then you can. When you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Okay. Your father morously jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Time. Yeah, that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. <laughs> it's time for me to leave. Hip lips quiver a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. You got an item, brass knuckles. Wow, There's Grandma was a badass. Right Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Dig into haystack. A needle! A needle in a haystack. I get it. Ha ha ha. Is this my grandpa? Or is this my, my brother? Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle cue back. You hand him the butt puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyways? To help people, to seek my fortune, to get off the stupid farm. <laughs> but it's so dangerous. 60% of people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I think you'll, you'll be dead by Crimbo. Oh, that's nice. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on his arm. Leave. Go west, young woman. Yeah, look at me going. Look, look at, look at me go. I look like I'm having a real hard time sitting on that. Look at the horse's head. It's so tiny. Oh my god. Is that supposed to be like a beet or a carrot or something? 
Ew, gross. He just picked his nose and ate it. Two hundred miles later. Ah. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. Okay. Hey, this... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hi. Oof. Buffalo gals watching Burp. Oh, he's the town drunk. I'm going to take this turn up. It is a turn. It's a turn up. It's not a beat or carrot. Oh, dang. A sign on the door. Go on drinking. This guy's been drinking for a while. Yuck. Kit. Hiccup bar. <laughs> Yuck. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dang nabbit? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat. Ain't proper. He points to the... To the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. What? Come on. You, you gotta be kidding. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy looking stet Stetson that looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, er, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, gal. Yeah? You head in west if. If any uh, want some company, I'd be more and ha more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. Alrighty, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> Look, his eyes are all twitchy. Howdy, I'm Maud. Howdy, Maud. I'm uh, Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hustler. <laughs> I don't know what the head is. How's that working out for you? <clears throat> oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. <laughs> is that why you're here drinking instead? I uh, yep. Me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show you. Show it to you. Okay. Wait, how many legs is the horse supposed to have then? The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. You already have a hat. Uh, what would you do with two? Good question. Hey, sir. You should probably leave him alone. Uh, why do I have to leave everyone alone? You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back of the wall. Reading, reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. Bartender finally notices you. Ah, it's like real life, you know. You just stand there for 100 years and then they come to you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Maud. What brings you to our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came west to make my fortune. Not having much luck as luck so far, though any work around these parts, unfortunately, boring springs, <laughs> boring springs, already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an 
errand town if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. Ask about railroad people, ask about dirt water. <coughs> sorry, guys. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry about that coughing. Ask about errands. Okay, ask about railroad. The railroad? Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to f Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company that. Ask about dirt water. Dirt water. Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less except expen expen uh, from the rules exempt from the rules of law uh, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damned cows <laughs> the cows a lot of opportunity there he pauses for a few seconds lost in thought yep if i were a younger man i'd probably head that way myself about errands you mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hustler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a a uh, goblin loose. In the basement, some cow poke in from the glutch didn't uh, didn't wipe his boots off and got spor spores everywhere. I can't probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You got an item. Weak f fungicide? I'll take care of it. Okay, what's in my inventory? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can I do any? Oh, oh, I can read it. Yeah. <laughs> After you're done reading it, you donate it to the local orphanage. Oh, I'm so nice. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> Co-orphans, go. Okay. Hey, look, it's a spit thing. It's a spittoon. People spit in it. Into it. You know, without even looking in it. That is absolutely disgusting. Look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit grows to gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum. And it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and he's peering into a f filth encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what, it, what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining in the bottom? Get it! You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog uh, enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit true at a mes mes barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. <laughs> You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It takes, it makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes are starting to water. Search. <sighs> well, I got this far. Why not? <sighs> your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tur terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself you appear to have gotten some 
kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Now I got a nasty ring. It says nasty ring. That guy's sleeping. These guys are playing poker. Or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Go out, guys. Okay, well, I guess that's that.